I'm still canceling orders from 2001. Anything over a year old should be canceled. Canceled or scheduled? Canceled. So damning new evidence obtained by the Daily Caller revealing a systematic attempt, systematic, to destroy veterans' medical records. This by employees of the Veteran Affairs Department themselves in L.A. attempting to quell the massive growing backlog of claims. Joining me now is Marine veteran Jesse Duff, a member of Concerned Veterans for America. Jesse, welcome to the show. What do you make of this video? You know, it's absolutely shocking, but you know what, sadly, I think a lot of us suspected this. The Veterans Administration has demonstrated time and time again that it can't be held accountable for serving those that have served their nation. They're more concerned about their backlog numbers than the very veterans who have given so much to this nation, who rate to have a simple appointment, who rate to not have their records discarded. And it's appalling when we see such a massive backlog in their medical system that this has actually been proven to be going on. So let's just to fill in a little bit about what's going on. So, so these were medical records from vets who had health, medical health uh, requests, exam yes, requests. requests. They wanted to be processed. They were eager to get help, medical help. So instead of giving them medical help, VA destroyed some of these documents, the very yes. documents that were needed to get them in front of doctors. It's astonishing. I want you to hear more. So we're going to go back to L.A., this okay. office where all of this took place. Here are some VA employees talking about what they're doing. Listen to this. It's just a matter of getting in there and canceling them ourselves. Because that, that backlog list you gave us, we're going through it as we go along now. There's a lot of patients from 2004 to 2005. A lot of those patients either had their studies somewhere else, had their surgery, had continued got better than they did, died, don't live in the state. You know, we're here on a visit. Right. Or right. Or right. Or right. Right. I mean, we're reading people. It's ridiculous. Wow, that's just startling. What are veterans telling you, Jesse? You know, veterans have been telling me for as long as I've been working with Concerned Veterans for America that they believe that the Veterans Administration basically was systemically trying to get them to die before they helped them. This facility was supposed to be providing medical care, and on average they're getting 3,000 requests for appointments in a month, and they can only manage approximately 800. So wow. instead, they had this doctor say, hey, get rid of these claims, and which would eradicate the records sense essence and it's gone there's no evidence that they ever had requested a claim can you imagine this somebody with agent orange PTSD having difficulties with cancer needing a colonoscopy never hearing back from the very hospital that they thought would take care of them veterans have long suspected that the Veterans Administration is more concerned about their backlog numbers than the care and resolving the claims that these veterans are going through Jesse we know that there are some 389,861 claims as of February 20 Second, 57% of claims are pending over 125 days. This is a national embarrassment, obviously. Do you think it's just the Los Angeles office that's doing this kind uh, no. of thing? No, no. And the backlog is, these are the people in the backlog that you just n named, are people waiting to even get a benefit. So actually the numbers are more accurate. There are almost 600,000 pending claims. Close to 400,000 of those are in the backlog. We've got 57% of our claims that can't even get resolved in 100 25 days. Average wait time to even get your claim resolved or your benefit is 342 days. 342 days. You can get on food stamps in a month. And if it's an emergency, you can get on them in a week. We have veterans with PTSD, Agent Orange, who may need cancer treatment, who haven't even been addressed by the VA yet. Unbelievable. So I, it is systemic. Unbelievable. And uh, you must come back and report to us on anything that, that happens on this. It's a national embarrassment. Something needs to be done. Jesse, thanks for coming on the show and telling us about it. Appreciate Thank your you time. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Unbelievable. Well.